Assalamu alaikum students good morning or good evening whatever the case is my name is Majid Tahir and you are watching me on my YouTube channel Majid Tahir 61 let's start today's topic I'm teaching you computer science the topic that we are doing is same in A levels 9618 and in O levels 0478 and 2210 so we have done this topic uh, part one earlier in the previous video also which was one dimensional array now we are doing second part of the video which is two dimensional array now in one dimensional array we have seen earlier that uh, 1d array is a list with similar data items for example if we were storing customer names 1d array would be uh, for example declare is the command for declaration customers In the bracket we write the upper bounds are five elements one two three four five so we were going to write down five in colon string so this is we, we know that this is one dimensional array it will create this this command is going to create this array for us the second type of array that you're looking at is this one uh, where we have uh, rows also and where we have two columns also so if we are declaring a two dimensional array for example it's going to be write declare and in this one we uh, have to give a name for example let, let's suppose products products and uh, because we have two columns and uh, five rows so five rows and two columns and you give the data type string so this this command is going to be uh, creating a blank array of five rows and two columns so a quick reinforcement of our one dimensional array we know that array is a special variable which stores multiple values it is one name and stored multiple values in it uh, for example a array of 10 names can be declared with the keyword name declare name 1-10 array of string and it will create this array for you uh, lower bound over here is 1 upper bound over here is 10 we have talked about this in the previous video also let's move forward and see our two dimensional arrays now what is a two dimensional array so two dimensional array uh, is basically referred to as a table with rows and columns in it for example uh, we are creating a table with two rows and three columns uh, it'll create two rows and three columns with six elements in it so when you write a command table two comma three colon integer it'll create a blank two dimensional array in uh, the memory like this one and it will have this two stands for these two rows and this three stands for these three columns so this is the maximum or upper bound of rows and this is the upper bound of columns similarly the data type meaningful name of the 2d array to insert the values in 2d array and to output the values in 2d array we need for loop but we need for loop in a nested loop like we need a loop within a loop so we are going to see that how this thing works so two dimensional array pseudocode is in begin is going to start the pseudocode declare table two comma three colon integer will create this blank two dimensional array, array in your system when you say for row is equal to one to two and inside for column is equal to one to three uh, this is basically nested loop for inserting the values in the array uh, it says print enter value row this is going to be displayed in the row column and then column and uh, it then input in table row comma column now this row in column is basically for counting so i have written uh, counter in the loop for row and column so that you can easily understand that what are you inserting row or a column so this next is next column and this next is next row so when this uh, loop runs first time first time in row uh, this row is we are talking about with row inside the loop which is basically running as a counter in this uh, call or for column is running inside the second loop so when your code starts it starts with this line it started with declaration the declaration created this array in the memory 
then we are in the loop for rho is equal to 1 to 2 means that this loop is going to run uh, maximum two times this is the uh, maximum limit it can go so right now when you are rho is equal to 1 to 2 so basically rho becomes 1 then it comes to the second line which is this one and for column is equal to 1 to 3 so this in this loop right now in the second loop for loop it will run maximum three times so but first time the column is going to be having value of one when you're done with this it says now the program comes on this line which is print or output this is actually happening inside the loop so it says enter value row it will be though this thing is in speech marks or inverted commas is going to be written as it is in the output screen so it will it will say enter value colon row and because row is actually this one is one so it will say enter value so this row is basically one and then it comes over here in column and this column is basically this one so it will say column one so it's it will tell user to enter value row one column one right now i am in this slot this is row one this is row one and this is column one so i am in this slot so uh this is basically input is over here so right now inside the computer input is going to be go, going in table which is the name of our our uh, 2d array 1 comma 1 so this is what it is happening because row is 1 and column is 1 let's suppose I write 11 over here so this 11 comes it says next column next column is going to bring my loop back to the column 1 column again because I have to go my loop has to go till 3 so it will again say enter so now column is changed now column becomes 2 earlier it was 1 now it is 2 enter value row will stay the same because I am not I haven't come out of the loop so the loop that is this one has to run three times and then when I come back then it comes in goes to the next row so till it works three time we are going to stay in the second loop so enter row 1 row is going to be staying one because it is this one so enter row one and column is going to be now two so then my input is going in table one comma two which is my this slot so now row is the same column is changed let's suppose i've inserted a value 12 it'll say enter value row one column 3 now so this thing is 3 now and uh, input is going to go in table 1 comma 3 now so the input that is going now is going in over here in this slot so I let me so let's suppose I have written 13 over here now one row is completely done and inside one row three columns are done so this this loop has run thrice it has reached three so it will come out of the loop and it will come on this line now so as you know that uh, this column this thing has run thrice from one to three and i've inserted the values one 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 two one three because it went three times up again and when for loop for example i was in the row one in column was repeated column was repeated one two three thrice now when i have done thrice i've repeated this loop thrice now i am in back in over here and the loop is taking me back over here again so now row becomes two now row becomes two and column becomes one again because i'm again inside this loop so again it will run three times again column becomes one so it it will say enter value row now row is two column column is one so it will take me input in table two comma one which is this line 
So let's suppose I have written 21. So if 21 goes there, loop inside this one, loop is going to go back again because it has to reach the maximum point 3. So it will say enter value row 2, column 2 and I am in table 2 comma 2 which is this one. So let, this one. So let me write a value. Let's suppose I've written 22 and thrice loop is going to say enter. So again inside this one loop is going to repeat one more time which is going to be taking me back and the column becomes 3 now. So it will say enter value row 3 and column 3 and I am now putting value in table uh, sorry row sorry row 2 column 3 so I'm putting value in 2 comma 3 I am over here right now so let's suppose I've written 23 now because my this loop is had to run maximum twice it has run maximum twice this has run uh, inside first time in one go when it was row 1 it has run three times in the second time it has run three times again so the values are inserted in the loop now to display the values another same similar uh, for loop and inside the loop another loop so for row is equal to 1 to 2 for column is equal to 1 to 3 and print row comma row column comma column is equal to and then the values when you write this command this one it will print uh, all the values it will again run this first time this loop and then within this loop it will run this loop three times and then it will repeat that main loop again and it will run this three times again so uh, and it will print all the values that we have inserted we remember that we have inserted uh, 1 1 1 2 1 3 and 2 1 2 2 2 3 so uh, it will display us the values like these so when we inserted the values 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 1 2 2 2 3 so this is basically uh, this is the enter value in row 1 column 1 was basically happening which we have just talked about and we inserted this 1 1 so this 1 1 went over here uh, then again uh, enter value of row 1 column 2 so row 1 was same so this 12 uh, we wrote this 12 uh, then row 1 column 3 we wrote 13 which is over here then it went that this thing uh, basically run three times then the loop went back the loop went back to a second time for the row in row 2 in column 1 so you can see this row 2 written row 2 column 1 so we, we wrote 21 which this 21 is this one then it says row 2 column 2 and uh, we wrote 22 which is this one and row uh, 2 column 3 uh, we wrote 23 which is this one so when we did that it then came over here and uh, printed all this the row 1 column 1 is equal to the value row 1 column 1 is equal to the value so all the values 1 1 1 2 uh, 1 3 1 uh, 2 1 2 2 2 3 all are printed so two dimensional VB code has the same thing if you run this table for example visual basics commands we know that already VB has uh, its own keyword so dim is the keyword in VB for declaration so dim is the declaration so this is basically declare when we wrote table 2 comma 3 it created this table in the memory so with uh, two rows and three columns is created so similarly uh, we started a loop for row is equal to 1 to 2 and for column is equal to 1 to 3 right line enter value row in row in column column and then values are going in row comma column this is basically input console dot right line is output command this is the output command console dot read line is basically the input command which is this one in visual basic so uh, we wrote the values uh, if we remember we wrote all the values 1 1 1 2 1 3 
and uh, when loop repeated second time uh, so loop repeated thrice when row was one when the row was one loop, loop re repeated thrice one two and then three so we put this three values the for loop went back second time and we've inserted the values two one two 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 three so when we did that we wrote these values Enter value row 1 column 1, we wrote this 11 which went over here. Then it says enter row 1 column 2, we wrote 12, 12 went here and then 13 went here which is uh, then the loop repeated in row 2, we wrote 21, 22 and 23. So basically these are all the values that 11 is here, 12 went here. 13 went here then second time loop repeated 21 this one then 22 23 went this and this so all the values repeated so this the second uh, loop was this one that we are looking at this one so the second loop uh, when repeated it displayed all the values row 1 column 1 is 11 row 1 column 2 is 12 row 1 column 3 is 13 and then uh, loop repeated second time row 1 column 2 row 2 column 1 21 row 2 column 2 22 row 2 column 3 23 so this is how two dimensional arrays work so we have to uh, use loop within a loop to insert the values and loop within a loop to display the values uh, this is it for uh, this lesson i hope you have understood the concept uh, you can find free notes at my website www.majitahi.com and you can uh, book online classes at my web portal which is ficker.org please like and subscribe the channel and give your feedback in the comments thank you so much allah hafiz